Hello world, and welcome to How Not To Write A Novel. Today I mostly did very well at not writing a novel, because I've been out, I've done some more promotional stuff, and I've written quite a lot of words, but relatively few of them are actually on the thing that I should be writing. If I look here, I see that I've written 1,553 words today, of which only 733 are on my project for Camp NaNoWriMo. As I'm trying to get in a um, thousand words every day on that project, this means that I'm quite a way behind target. And I can't remember what I was about to say next, but um, just keep talking. Yes, um, I got almost nothing done today until about 10 o'clock when I was watching somebody else's stream and the background music that he had running seemed to um, get my fingers wanting to keep up with the rhythm of it and that means I've got um, about 700 words in which isn't that good but it's better than I have been doing for the rest of the day and I think now I've figured out what to do with this character Lance Walker who I introduced yesterday and wasn't quite sure what to do with him. He's turning out to be quite a bad guy. Um, he's received a package of documents from uh, a younger man called Jones. We don't know the guy's full name. Um, the documents are mostly incorrect, but Walker recognises them as containing something important, something that could lead to him if Jones kept on investigating what he was and got himself killed. We don't know yet what he's actually investigating. Uh, the vague idea in my head is that Jones is investigating a group of shadow drinkers in the city that he lives in. Walker knows about drinkers and has um, not so much allied with them, but makes a profit off knowing that they exist when nobody else does. Um, he probably provides some kind of business service like um, providing false identities because there are humans who work with the drinkers doing things like that. Um, a small number of them and I think that has the potential to make somebody very rich. Would also explain to some degree why Walker is so willing to just ignore the sound of somebody getting beaten up outside his window. Um, and I've got this part here. Um, Walker pushed the muddled documents to one side, took a long sip of his drink while he thought about how to handle this. He could have left the kid to keep on digging, seeing himself as some kind of private investigator. If he were to stick his nose in where someone was likely to cut it off, that would hardly be Walker's fault. But at the same time, there were names in the file that Walker already knew, names he'd investigated himself. If a sufficiently rigorous detective, one less prone to leaping to tall conclusions in a single bound, were to look through Jones's office, there was a chance they might find a link to a trail that led back here. And though Walker was uniquely skilled at not answering awkward questions, he found that the easiest way to do so was to avoid all situations in which those questions might reasonably be asked. The simplest response, he reasoned, would be something that might make Jones hesitate. Um, some facts he didn't already know, just enough to convince him that he was talking at a friend with a bell on the end, and a warning that he might be close to straying off the path. Then he would at least agree to meet with Walker before digging himself any deeper into the danger zone. There's some mixed metaphors there, I'm not quite sure where that came from. I think that might be a quirk of um, Walker, because um, I, am, um, to, I am writing in subjective third person. Basically, what I'm writing is what the character sees. It's not necessarily true. And I've just realised I've not put my earphones in, so I don't, I have no idea if you can hear me or not. Oh well. Um, I'll hope you can. 
and if not then this video will be even more mysterious than usual but um, anyway um, I haven't actually made much progress on the plot but we've introduced this Walker character we found out that he doesn't care that much for people's lives that he's keeping secrets that he's involved with someone bigger than he is and that there's some violence going on outside his house um, as soon as he's finished sending this email to Jones um, he's going to notice he can he'll still hear the sound of somebody fighting and then he's going to get drawn into that but um yeah the original intention was just to give a few paragraphs to introduce walker before he dies um he was going to be the first person in the story to be killed by a drinker but actually having him tied into the plot gives me more things that i can hang plot twists off later more hooks that i can use for example um, if Jones gets in touch with the gifted party in Yuki's city, then that ties all the threads together. Means that they're investigating Walker's death, but once they start investigating, they might find out what Walker was into himself. And I can see that that's like the vague skeleton of a plot. I hadn't actually decided that much about the bad guys in this story when I started writing which is normally a bad thing to do but it's in the first couple of days of writing I do tend to solidify the ideas in my head juggle them around think about how things could fit together in different ways and for me that seems to work it might not work for all writers but it's something that seems to go well for me so um, I'm just hoping that as I continue to write this scene, I'll have a firmer idea of who Walker is, who he's working with, who Solomon is, and how all the different threads are going to connect together later on. Right. That's enough about the story, but on the subject of these videos, I would like to hear from some of the people watching. Should I talk about what I've written today and the things that I've got to be careful about when writing it from a writing perspective or should I share with you my ideas for where the story is going to go um, spoilers I guess um, so that you can see how the idea changes as I go about writing it I'm not sure which is the best method because if I'm telling you things that are going to happen later in the story it might mean that you can't enjoy the story as much but then, as I'm only showing you rough notes, um, I'm not entirely sure what's best. You know, um, do you want to see the idea developing? So I'll tell you the things that I'm planning later on and then go into it in more detail when I come to write it. Or should I just talk about the writing of each week's piece? I'm not, um, please comments down there let me know and i think that's all i've got to say today i know there was something i meant to mention yesterday and the day before and forgot both times but i can't remember what it was so um bye and i'll see you tomorrow and if you want to check out more of my videos while you're waiting for tomorrow there should be a link up here somewhere to yesterday's video and when I've released it, there should be a link up here somewhere to tomorrow's video. There should also be a subscribe link somewhere around here, um, which will get you notified as soon as a new video comes out. But until then, 